Welcome back to the Division 2. There is no state of the game today. Just wanted to clear that up. I usually cover it and do a recap, but there isn't one today. And they tweeted that it's due to personal circumstances. One of the hosts can't do it. So there is a question as to why another host can't do it. And apparently it's because Hamish isn't very well. If it's genuine, then I hope Hamish gets well soon. But I'm thinking it's because they can't handle the backlash that Hamish is going to get. Due to the fact that he joined Wids' clan, he was farming the DZ heroic landmarks. They were actually teaming up, and when I say that, they were playing in a five-man group instead of four. They all got into the same server, so they made it unfair for other players that were only in groups of four. And there's been a lot of questions around the fact that Hamish went up 84 shade levels in two days when a month after Warlords released, he was only shade level 35. As soon as he joined Wids' clan, he just shot up the shade levels. But that's the reason State of the Game isn't on today. Personal circumstances, apparently Hamish isn't very well. I would like to then carry on to say that Bungie even went and took the piss out of Massive Entertainment, and rightly so. Taking a look at this, I believe it's a Reddit post, it's actually taken from a video that Kakis HD did. There is a community developer, so that's the same sort of role as Chris Gansler or Hamish. Hamish is classed as a community developer, but this one is from Cosmo, and they are the community developer, or one of, from Bungie. They said it's definitely a bug, we aren't rushing to fix it, so enjoy it for the rest of the week. It's specific to Warden of Nothing, and I believe it will be fixed before it rotates in again, but feel free to go ham for now. I love when bugs become features. I've let the team know that the community would like to see some kind of PvE activity bonus rewards in the future. The bug that Cosmo is talking about is a current bug on a Nightfall mission, and when you run this Nightfall, at the end of it, it's supposed to award one exotic. Instead of that happening, there is a bug in Destiny 2 at the moment where that Nightfall is awarding two exotics instead of one. The community developer for that game has told their player base to go ham until it is fixed at the end of the week. There won't be any rush to fix it. They will fix it in their own time. That is the exact approach Massive Entertainment should have had to the damage glitch. And I'm hoping after this, like I'm hoping this is the last time we talk about the damage glitch because I'm covering most of it in this video, but if there are other little topics, I will talk about them in videos, but I will try and make it as brief as possible because we already know exactly what's going on. I just wanted to point out the fact that Bungie are taking the right steps and taking responsibility for something they created. Also, I'd like to clear up the fact that players said, even if you weren't using PvP for the damage glitch, it wasn't damage glitching in PvP, you could use the god rolls that you got from running the damage glitch, let's just say on legendary missions, you could use those god rolls in PvP and then the gear that you farmed was going to give an unfair advantage. That's the exact same thing happening in Destiny 2 right now. A lot of players don't really use exotics, there are other weapons and stuff to use. But if you're farming Nightfalls and you're getting double the exotic rewards, you then go and have two exotics instead of one. If you get one that's really good and you're going to use it in PvP, you take it into PvP. So it's exactly the same thing, yet Bungie know that it makes the game fun again. Like, it makes the game more fun than it currently is. That's exactly what happened with Division 2. I had people commenting saying that the damage glitch was the most fun they've had in months, and I even agreed with that. Everyone agreed with that. It made the game so much fun. But for some reason, Massive Entertainment decided to go and say that it was the form of an exploit, it was our doing, they banned players, they did a two week rollback which we'll be covering more in depth in this video, and they just took the completely wrong approach to the situation. That's my personal opinion anyway, they should have done what Bungie did. They should have said, fuck it, we're not going to focus on it, we've got more important things to be doing, have fun with it, we're, we're going to patch it at the end of the week. <laughs> it literally should have been that simple. But moving on from that, with the rollbacks, it, they badly, badly messed up. It wasn't just the stuff they said that would be rolled back. For example, the leaderboards for the year one raid completions have been wiped. I had nine completions, doesn't really matter to me either way, I'm not bothered, but there are players out there in the community with two to three hundred plus completions, they've all been wiped because they got banned. That is not fair. There are people even saying that their kills in the DZ have been wiped. The, like A load of the leaderboards have been messed up for those that got banned. The season level, if you were level 100 and you got taken back to, let's just say, level 90, 
The season level did get wiped, but the rewards you earned, so that French flag looking gear die, and I believe it's like a lightning bolt arm patch or something like that, those rewards are kept. So they took your season level, not your rewards. Every single piece of apparel you got, hunter's masks, all the different outfits and, I don't know, say tops and trousers and stuff, they were all taken, but you get to keep your emotes. The Venus Manhunt target isn't fully active, although it was supposed to be for three weeks. I don't know what's happened with that. A lot of players are saying they can't access it at all. And I would just like to point out from that, it's like there's a big, big confusion. The developers haven't even clarified half the stuff they should have done with these rollbacks and how the seasonal events are going to work. But what it says on your screen is that Venus is like the event's over, the event's closed. But I believe that's just for the season cash you would have been awarded. I do think you can still do the manhunt, although I'm not sure. I haven't really tried it and I don't really want to. If I do have a few weeks, then fine, I can do it in my own time. But I'm not too interested because after five different manhunt targets, I get an EMP sticky bomb. whoop de doo And I mean, I'll probably get a couple of backpack trophies along the way. Well done, Massive Entertainment. Such meaningful rewards. The leagues always seem to be locked behind invasions, and I don't think that's right. The fact that you have to clear invasions, missions, like invaded missions, to actually access the league. They completely lied about title update 8.5, because I was trying to run the league. I don't know how many players have actually completed it, but you've got to do DARPA research labs on Heroic. I tried that mission solo the other day. Took me about an hour until I eventually gave up i was like fuck that too long too like far too long winded too tough some of the enemies damage and stuff like the assault striker drones or whatever they are they're fucking stupidly overpowered but i went back on two man and on three man and when i was doing it three man i managed to get all the way to brenner in the patch notes it says that brenner's mortar damage has been decreased i think they messed up did the opposite effect because their mortars are stronger than ever Literally, you get hit with one mortar, you are down, no matter your armor and stuff. Alongside that, they said the minigun warhounds would only do two spins now instead of three. They still do three. Like, that hasn't changed. It literally took us 20 minutes to get to the Brenner fight, and then 15 minutes of struggling in that fight until the point where we dashboarded and said, fuck it, can't be bothered, we'll come back and do something else another time. But DARPA Research Labs has been put in there by the developers. Stage 10 target is 18 minutes to clear the whole mission, and let me just say, from the moment you get that big, like, whatever it is, I think it's like a bioreactor type thing, literally from the moment that hits the elevator to the moment you get to the Brenner boss fight is 90 seconds. That's all walking and loading screens. That's how long it takes. So 18 minutes on the clock for that on Heroic is ridiculous, and I would like to see a developer do that shit. I want to see a dev actually clear that time on Heroic. Because I'd say, even though me and my mates aren't the best, we are definitely more than capable of doing missions in fast times. And the final thing I would like to cover in this video is please do not try upgrading your exotics for visual upgrades. I'm going to explain exactly what I mean now, but just if there is any way to upgrade your exotic, visual or not, do not do it. They are so broken at the moment, you're going to lose all of your hard work. And the reason I say this is because someone reached out to me on Facebook to let me know about this. They had bought the expansion, Warlords of New York, they got all the way to level 40, and they had a merciless drop. They took their Merciless and they were looking through the blueprints to see if they could upgrade it, like they didn't know what was going on about the exotics not coming to level 40 with us, but they got themselves a Merciless and they wanted to change the visuals, which is obtainable by using one of the upgrade blueprints. They wanted to change it so it looked like the Ruthless and not the Merciless. Whether players agree with doing that or not is completely irrelevant. This person wanted to do it, so they've put it into the crafting station. They have upgraded their Merciless to look like the ruthless that is what they wanted to do that is what they should have achieved now their level 40 merciless after doing that crafting didn't get a visual upgrade at all it actually got a level and performance downgrade it went from a level 40 god rolled merciless down to a level 30 god rolled merciless so they lost a big chunk of stats, all because they were trying to upgrade the visuals on their exotic. So if there's any form of a blueprint, do not use it. And on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. It's just absolutely appalling how Massive Entertainment are dealing with this game at the moment. There are so many players that have left. But it still won't be classed as a dead game because there are still so many players that are playing it. 
And at this moment in time, I'm not putting much time into the game myself. I'm off having fun doing other things. I'm literally just covering topics that I feel need to be covered and just keeping you guys in the community up to date with it all. But I just love the fact that Bungie are taking the piss out of Massive. They are treating players how they should be treated when they've spent money on their game. But on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.